Good morning from Paris, France. I'm Raya. And I'm Louis. We spent the first four years of our relationship traveling the world full time, and now we're back on the road. We're pausing our road trip through the US down to Costa Rica, and we're taking on Europe for the summer. After reuniting with Louis' family in the UK, we bought a van to drive down through France and Italy and across to Bulgaria to visit my family. We're vlogging almost every day of our trip. Subscribe so you don't miss any of it. So we arrived in Paris last night. We found this cheeky little parking spot right in the center. And we're gonna show you what it's like living in a city in a van. So we're just about to get up, make some breakfast and some coffee. And we got so lucky with this spot because it's actually a super quiet like side street. So we slept really well and yeah, just excited for the day exploring Paris. One great thing about living in a van is you can just wake up and pick your clothes while sitting in bed. So unlike our bus in the US, this van doesn't have a shower. And normally that's okay if we're out in the countryside or something, then we can have an outdoor shower. But obviously we're in the middle of Paris, we can't do that. So I'm gonna try to wash my hair in the sink this morning. I've got my biodegradable shampoo and my microfiber towel. And here we go. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> this is like in the hairdressers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, I did it. Done. Yeah, how was that? I mean, it's not perfect, but I think it's a great emergency option. <laughs> okay, let's go. So we're gonna go for a little walk around Paris now. This is the spot that we parked right next to the river here. Such a good spot, isn't it? I know. And I think I may have found some vegan croissants, so we're gonna go on a hunt. Before we left the van, we slyly hid the most valuable things, so like our passports and laptops and hard drives. Just on the off chance that the van gets broken into, we, if you didn't see our last vlog, the guy parked behind us whilst we were at dinner got his car broken into and they stole a bunch of things. So I think that is a risk in any major city or anywhere really is that um, vehicles could get broken into. So we, we might think about getting a, an upgraded security system for the van. But in the meantime, just being careful and either and we'll take- We'll be back after breakfast. Yeah, we'll be back soon. And I think it's more risky at night as well. That is so me. <laughs> so we just ducked into this little cafe because Ryan needed to use the toilet. So I ordered a little cheeky coffee. And uh, yeah, we're not gonna stay long, but this is this is really beautiful. Yeah. And that's learned that when you live in a van without a toilet, just make the most of it whenever you can. And we got free water. So. Cheers. Cheers. Chocolate show. Merci. Vegan hot chocolate and a warmed up chocolate croissant, pan au chocolat. Are you excited? It's pretty hard to find vegan croissants and chocolate croissants because typically it's all made with loads of uh, butter, but we found them. Oh, unreal. Take 
taking a bunch of croissants and cakes with us. Where are we off to next? Well, I also found a vegan cheese shop around the corner, so I feel like I just want to find like vegan versions of the most classic French food. And obviously cheese is very French, so let's see what they have. The reason we're so excited about a lot of these vegan food places we've been visiting is that traditionally France isn't known for vegan food. A lot of the food is cheese and meat and butter. even yeah, butter and all the pastries and stuff. So that's why we're so excited because it's kind of rare to, um, to be able to eat some of these things. And we were a little bit worried traveling through France. I think when we reach some of the more secluded villages, we might need to just stock up and bring things with us to make. This is why we do a discovery box where you can get those four for 20 euros. And then the fresh ones, we have a couple that work very well. And there's the Jean Sandré and the Jean Poivron, which are like fresh goat cheeses. We found some lime scooters, so we can get back to the van. Check this out, phone holder. These are massive upgrades from the ones that were in LA. Okay, moment of truth. Is the van safe? Are all things safe? Let's find out. I'm really nervous. It's not on the street. <laughs> I thought the van had gone. No, it's not on the street. <laughs> okay. It's a good sign, no broken glass. I think we're safe. I think we're good. We're gonna chill for a few hours and catch up with some work. The problem is because we've been parked on this side street, it's kind of dingy and the solar hasn't been charging our leisure battery. So thankfully we have the ability to charge from the alternator when the engine's running. So I've just put the engine on, I'm hoping for like 15 minutes and it should charge the batteries up enough. And then there's a little voltage meter here. So when we got back, this just said 12.7. And then it's just slowly charging up. Hey, see you soon. We are just working, editing, and just doing some like urgent email and work stuff. Anyway, we're getting a little bit hungry and I really want to try that cheese that we got. So I'm trying to find a baguette. Obviously, France is very well known for their bread and I really want some like freshly baked bread right now. Mm. Raya has popped out and got us a baguette and some fresh cherry tomatoes. And cucumbers. And cucumbers. We're gonna try that vegan cheese we got. gotten some work done and the sun came out so we wanted to go and explore Paris a little bit more. We're actually leaving tonight so yeah we just want to make the most of it and I just can't believe this is our first time here together the two of us. We've both been multiple times but it's our first time in the most romantic city in the world so just want to make the most of it. We are getting back on the limes. Best way to get around Paris for sure.
pick up the van to drive to the Eiffel Tower, but I actually decided to walk and just meet him there. I don't know, this is just my favorite thing to do when traveling is just go for really long walks through parks and neighborhoods and pop into little boutiques and um, bookstores, cafes, like it's just my favorite way to really feel a city. And I know some people prefer to have like a full itinerary plan and activities booked and stuff. Let me know which one are you? Do you like to just like stroll and I don't know, just be present in a city and see where it takes you or do you prefer to make a plan and know what you're doing for the day? I'm definitely the first one. So I've gone back to get the van and I'm gonna meet Raya near the Eiffel Tower. She just carried on walking to get some nice views. And then I think we're gonna head up to Sacre Coeur, which is this amazing view over Paris for sunset. Look at this incredible spot. Obviously we can't park here. This is just like a brief stop, but we have the best view of the Eiffel Tower. Right here. Right, we just filmed a little clip for Raya's Instagram Reels. For my mom, she has a boutique in New York and it's one of her dresses, so I wanted to get like really cute Reels. It looks so good. We are gonna try and catch the sunset now, so we're gonna leave here also before we get towed. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we've found a, another delicious vegan restaurant to visit tonight. Unfortunately, the Eiffel Tower is closed right now to go up. Otherwise, we would have made that a priority today to go up the Eiffel Tower. But we'll just have to save that for our next visit together. Mm -hmm. And as a little snack, we got extra croissants this morning. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah. So good. Yeah, mm. this will tide me over till dinner. How are you feeling? I feel good. We are kind of rushing to get to this place before the sun sets and I feel like driving in foreign cities is pretty hectic. It's pretty crazy, especially if any of you have driven around the Arc de Triomphe, it's mental. It's like eight to 10 lanes of traffic with no markings and everyone's like weaving in and out. So thankfully we haven't crashed yet. And are you grateful we don't have a 50 foot school bus? Yeah, this would be pretty hard on the school bus. <laughs> That is where we're heading. I think the cafe culture in Paris is like the number one in the world. Still circling, looking for parking. Okay, the plan was there was a vegan restaurant like right around from where we just were, but they closed already. Even though it's still so light out, it's already 10 p.m. So, yeah, the good thing is we travel with our own kitchen, so we might just go back and cook some dinner. Right, this is the spot we found by the Sacre Coeur. Probably not supposed to park here. There's also a really nice view at the end of the street. But we're thinking, cook and then set up a little table here. What's the meal plan for tonight? I think just pasta with pesto and some cherry tomatoes. Keep it simple. Nice. This is so delicious. You're welcome. It's a pretty epic view. I know, how unexpected. I know. I think this is cool because we would have been sitting in the restaurant, which we've done numerous nights recently, but this is very unique. A unique experience. Our dinner 
dinner spot and we are going to go back to the Eiffel Tower now to see it at night because it's all lit up and sparkling and stuff like that so that's the plan. <laughs> Got the prime spot. This guy's leaving. Perfect timing. Wow. <gasps> Check out this parking spot. How magical is this? I cannot believe this. This has got to be the most incredible parking spot in all of Paris. Yeah. I mean, central. <sighs> wow. <laughs> so, okay, change of plan. We are so excited about this spot that we found right by the Eiffel Tower that we want to stay over here tonight so we can wake up for sunrise and open the back doors and see the Eiffel Tower and have breakfast and then head off. We're heading south. So, that's the plan. I cannot believe we found this, honestly. I know. Yeah, we really wanted to start heading south, but I just, the thought of having a croissant, watching the sunrise over the Eiffel Tower from our house, I can't, I it's, can't handle it. It's too good, it's too good. <laughs> good night. Night, see you tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> we may have made a terrible mistake by staying here. Basically imagine parking in an outdoor drunken party that like goes nightclub. Yeah, that goes on all night. Yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I did, I think people were shouting and playing music till like maybe four a.m. Like pumping house music. Yeah. And it was like a different group of people every half an hour. Is like mm. would roll by, start screaming and playing other music. To be fair. We drove into their party. I'm not complaining that they're partying. <laughs> I just think we made a mistake. Yeah. And it's overcast, so there's not really a amazing sunrise, but we are still parked right by the Eiffel Tower. So we're going to get some shots and then we're going to head off. How are you feeling? <laughs> that says it all, really. <laughs> Good morning! Good morning, Paris. How are you feeling? I'm honestly feeling all right. <laughs> Did not feel good last night at any of the times I woke up, but I feel <laughs> all right now. I'm ready for coffee. So this is officially the end of our trip to Paris. Mm -hmm. I can't believe that we actually stayed in a van in Paris. It was actually easier than I thought, and I mean, Think about how much a hotel room would cost with a view like this. And we paid zero. We have been paid for parking Unreal. the whole time. No, I don't know whether we're going to get parking tickets in the post, but <laughs> yeah. like, there's no parking. Yeah. Paying. So yeah, what are your thoughts on van life in Paris? I think it's great for a couple of days and better if you have a toilet and shower yeah. in the van. This is something we're desperate for right now. Mm -hmm. um, and there's, I'm guessing there's no like camping RV parks right in the center of the city. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I feel like it's yeah, great I think for, for a couple of days. Yeah, I think you're right. For a couple of days it's perfect, but I'm really excited to head south into more open space, nature, and yeah, just more facilities for the van. <laughs> awesome. All right, see you next time. Bye. See ya. Bye.